the Amesis. It's uh, number 26 in the evolution of the beach animals. Since 20 years, I tried to make new forms of life, and they're all based on this material. This is conduit we use in Holland for houses, for cables and houses. So this is what you could say by protein, because our bodies, all forms of existing forms of life, are based on just one material, protein, and this is my protein. I try to make all new things of this material. And these animals, they have to survive on the beaches, so they have to survive the storms, the water, all the, the, the elements on the beach. And I'm working hard for it, but this has been an evolution uh, going on. And a big advantage of these animals is that they don't have to eat. Normal animals, they waste their time looking for food, and these animals get their energy from the wind. So they just wait for the wind. And they catch the wind with the sails, which are up there. Uh, the sails are now shrunken, they're pulled in, and it would be the situation when there's a very strong wind. But when the wind is a little bit milder than today, well, there's a bit of it with draft coming through that street. Maybe it's going to move the sails. If it's spread a little bit, my colleague, Mr. Luke from the Grid, is going to open the valve and see how the wind is spread out. So when the wind, the wind comes from the front, the wings move like this. So when the wings move, in the old animals, the wings were connected directly to the legs. So when the wings would move, the legs would walk between the, the, the water and the dry sand, so the fluffy sand. On that hard part, they can walk. Now it's coming in the draft. Maybe it's going to move by itself later. And nowadays, the wings are able to store the wind. And that means that they're connected to pumps, and these pump air in soda bottles on the back. So they press the wind in the bottles, you could say, and this is the wind stomach. So it's just a spare wind. They need, in the cases that the wind starts falling away on the beach, and the tide would come up, they still have a little bit of energy in their wind stomach to reach the dunes and save their lives. So they also survive uh, the, the wind silences. When there's a storm, they have this special get you here. This is the hammer. I didn't put it on yet, but it should hammer a peg in the ground. But let's see if it's going to move a little bit. Can you hold it a little bit? Pressure for it, so. <laughs> but it should, you, you can imagine that it moves up and down. Yes, okay. So, what we did this afternoon for you is we pumped up the bottles to the wind stomach with the compressor just to speed up the process. And we can see if the animal really gonna walk on the, uh, the wind stomach. Uh, it's gonna move, I guess, to that way. Yes. This, Something might jump out. So please, yes. Big chance to survive.
Thank <laughs> you. 